So here I find myself after another Monday of class, walking to the car and wondering what it is that I should be talking about. I found the flip, so we'll be uh, seeing more of this again. Thankfully, it was just in my computer bag because I'm a moron. Anyway, every time I come out of Rice's class, uh, graduate class, of course, my mind is always totally just turned to mush, and not because anything he says is particularly difficult to understand or that I'm struggling to keep up with what we're reading or what we're talking about, but just that there are so many things about myself as a creator, both in art and obviously more particularly writing, that I just feel like that I'm struggling with so much that there's no way I could possibly keep up and advance myself and grow in the way that I need to grow with the limited amount of time that I'm giving myself to participate in these activities. And it's not that there isn't time, it's that I've chosen to allocate my time in other ways, which probably isn't necessarily a good thing. I don't know, it depends on what you think is good and what is not. But uh, just one thing we were talking about today that I really, I have a struggle with, and I feel like all artists have a struggle with both not in both, but in all aspects of art, but that I always try to make my stories say something. I try to have control over them. I mean, when I'm writing, I try to just let the story come out and everything, but when I usually approach a story, I haven't. I always have the first line in my head. That's always the thing I start with. I have a line, typically, that I start with, or I know the ending It's going to happen. I don't know. But as I'm writing, and I try to let it just be free-flowing and everything, but I tend to try to control it as it's freely coming out so it's not really free at all and that's what we've been talking about all day today in class kind of in, in both the writing class I have but mainly with the grad class that you know we're not telling the story the story's telling itself and I know I've talked about this before I don't know about if I've talked about it with you guys or not but that when you're writing you can't make a story into anything because you're not the story you just happen to be the person that's transcribing the story as it happens and that we're participators in the story we're not the creators of the story and I was just thinking about the piece that I'm writing for this class and how I knew from the beginning middle end end what the story was going to be about you know I wanted it to be about this character that's designing these doors for this church that's going to end up being a, a, that's the sin of the person doing this art is going to end up coming to get him at the end and he's going to be pulled into this wall with this painting of people in hell and blah 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 the whole time we're sitting through this class I'm just wondering not wondering but thinking about the story that I've, I've been working on it's like three or four pages now and you know this is the first story I was going to turn in for class I don't really have a whole lot of time to write and not as much time as I'd want to write and it really makes me angry that I don't have the time to write but I'm thinking about this story and how all of it is completely useless because I know that if I go back and read it, it's going to feel contrived and it's going to feel bogged down by my desires and wanting to make it into something that it might not want to be. And I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm feeling totally overwhelmed with all of my classes and work and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with all the work and everything and it's just really stressing me out. But it made me think that, you know, with all art, all expression, whether music, painting, sculpture, and writing, like I always mention all the different things, art. From now on, when I say art, that's what I mean. But that all art cannot have meaning if we try to infuse it with meaning. In that, when I try to, when I go to create something, if I go, I'm going to make this story about suffering, or I'm going to go make this painting of a windmill because I want it to be of this windmill, or whatever the, the case may be, you know, I want this song to be about this and I want to evoke this feeling. You know, that's not really getting at the meaning of what that piece of art could be and that we're really losing sight of what life is. Apparently that person's life is about driving really fast. But we're not really getting at the heart of what the piece could say or wants to say because I know like with playing music a lot of times like oh okay I want the song to be about this and I try to write it and every time every time it comes out terrible and it still does that's why I stopped writing music lyrics all together because every time it would come out bad and every time I sit down to play the guitar I start with the chord and I'm like right, I want the song to sound like this and I want it to go like this and I stopped writing music too because of that because every time I do it it would just feel contrived and it's like oh, I've heard this song before I've heard it a thousand times before everyone else has done this and kind of the same with my writing Except for there's been a few times where I've sat down and I've just typed and typed and typed and not really thought about what I was saying, but just really went. And in the end, I really liked what came out. And I just feel like in order for us to really be able to create and to make art and to be artists and participate in this whole world, this whole you know society that we've built up worldwide and to be part of 
this community and to understand ourselves we cannot force what we think something should mean we have to let something mean what it is and then we find that meaning after creating it and that's the whole thing we talked about today in class was that when you write a story you sit down and you write it don't think about it because if you think about it it's going to fall apart and it's going to feel contrived and it's, you're going to see that it is contrived but you don't think about it you just let it write it and then after you've written it you will find the meaning afterwards or the theme or whatever you want to want to call it so anyway don't think about what you're creating create it and then see what it means because if you try to give it meaning it's not going to it's not going to have as powerful of an effect or influence that it could possibly have had if you would have done it other otherwise Anyway, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I'm so stressed out about all this. It's just, it's just crazy. And I, I was going to apologize for not vlogging for the last couple of days, you know, Thursday and Friday, but then I realized the whole reason that I feel like I stopped vlogging in the first place and why these vlogs have not been good, and this kind of relates back to the whole art thing, is that I wasn't doing it for myself. I wasn't saying what I wanted to say. I was just saying things so that you guys could hear me say things. I was saying things for you guys and not for me and that really really reflected the, the things that I was saying and how I was saying things and I think it's really important to look at that because when I don't say it for myself you know I think this is with any vlogger you know watching Shay Carl especially he doesn't say anything for other people he says you know whatever's going on in his day he says you know what he's doing with his family he says what he wants to say about what's going on and I think for me that's my big struggle and that's with all my art I don't just say what is I say what I think should be and that's where my biggest downfall is I think that's where a lot of our downfalls are especially with amateur being amateur artists we say what we think should be said or, or I don't know what we want it to say instead of letting it say what it has to say so it's Monday I'm going home to the wife to dinner peace out